I'm Joyce of Coda with Joyce and this tutorial we're gonna learn what is singleton patents and how can we implement it in our Android application. I'm gonna show you three ways to implement it so let's just get started. Okay so let's say that you have a paper and you want to write something on the paper. So the paper is actually a program and the pencil like it's hard to believe but that is a pencil. Like I tried. I tried hard. And in pencil case, uh, there is a method or like write method and erase method. In some points of your program, pencils are going to be needed. But are you going to make hundreds and thousands of instances every time you need it? No, just don't. Because it is very inefficient way to write code since you are wasting memory usage. So that's why we use a single pattern. So it says like, okay guards, use this pencil. Don't make any pencil by yourself. So in singleton pattern, only one instance of a class is created in Java Virtual Machine, and it provides you a global point of access to the object. And just for your information, the thing that he's holding right now is a pencil. I added some details in it. I hope you like it. So the first one is an eager initial initialization. First, I'm going to create private static field and make this instance of the class loaded at the same time of class loading. And I'm going to make this class's constructor private so that no class can make any new instance of this class. And then I'm going to make one public static method which will return our one and only instance that we initiated before. Since it is public, any classes can access to this method and get an instance whenever they want. But the disadvantage of this approach is that this instance is initiated regardless of its usage. Like even if it is not used, it is initiated when the class is loading. So, I mean, you don't want any pencil if you're not gonna use it, right? So that's why second approach, which is a lazy initialization came to the surface. It's like lazy. Like the previous one, I'm gonna make a private static instance of our class, but I'm not gonna initiate right now. And I'm going to make a private constructor so that no class can access. After that, I'm gonna make a public static get instance method, which is gonna return instance, and this is where I'm gonna initiate the things. So if the instance is a null, which means never been initiated, I'm going to initiate. And if it's not null, just return the instance like this. So by using this approach, we solved our first problem. So we can only initiate when we really going to use it. But the problem is of this approach is if your program operates with multi threads and instance is not initiated yet, if the two threads enter the get instance method simultaneously, it can research in making two instances. Then it's not single pattern anymore. It's like two pattern. So this pattern came out to solve the problems of previous patterns and it is most commonly used approach. In this single pattern, I'm not gonna make any private static field, like instance field, like I've done before. But instead of that, I'm gonna make a private static uh, in a class inside of our class and then I'm gonna make a static final instance like one and only instance that we're gonna use in this uh, class inside of our inner class and then I'm gonna initialize it like this but this is not gonna be initialized when the single C class is loaded and next I'm gonna make a get instance method inside of our singleton C class and then it will return our lazy holders static binary field, which is our instance, one and only instance. Okay, so how does this work? When in a class invoked for the first time, the private static instance will be initialized, and it doesn't require you any sort of synchronization stuff, since JVM will guarantee you the sequential execution of the class initialization, which means they are safe. This is by far the most efficient approach among the old singleton patterns that we checked and is really commonly used. You can use a singleton pattern for your threadable class, configuration class, or networking class, and etc. And this is it. So this was a Joyce from the Code with Joyce, and I hope you like this video. Hope you see you again too.